Welcome back to Cause 3D, and today we are going to do one, probably my second favorite thing of this R2 build, and that is to attach all the pies to the dome. Let's get right into it. All right, so we've got everything prepped and ready, everything's painted, and hopefully we didn't forget any parts or we'll find out pretty soon here. Um, I am going to begin by putting all of our external um, panels in. So what I like to do, because this build, I am not going to put in any servos in any of the outer doors for now, but I want the option available later. So I've got my glue gun here and um, <clears throat> we're just gonna hot glue in each panel. Now it does take a little bit of a finesse to get those in with some hot glue and not make a big mess and have it goo out on the outside of the, of the dome parts, which we definitely wanna avoid if we can. But uh, I'm gonna throw the camera up here at a higher angle so hopefully you can see better as to what I'm doing. But we're just gonna get all of our parts in and like I said, this is probably my second favorite part of doing an R2 build. Uh, the final first part is when we put all of the body pieces together. I actually enjoy working with the body more than I do the dome, just because you have to be a little more delicate with the dome. But uh, we're going to jump right into it here and we'll get the camera moved and we'll get cracking. All right, there we have it. So all of the panels have been hot glued in. Um, I have not, since I'm not putting servos in the pie top pies, I am actually gonna put some hot glue in there just to keep them tight. And the reason I'm doing that with no servos is because when you're driving, we don't want a bunch of road noise and popping and flapping going on with it. So I will put some uh, hot glue in there. Now the reason I use hot glue and not any other form of glue is because if you take some denatured alcohol, which you can buy at any hardware store and take a paintbrush even, or a small paintbrush, you can actually go in on the inside and brush some denatured alcohol 
on your hot glue and it has a chemical reaction that allows the hot glue to release from any parts that you've glued in. So if I decide that I need to remove this panel and replace it because it's scratched or uh, you know something's happened to it or I need to get in there for any type of access for whatever reason, I can go on the inside now and drop some hot glue in or some uh, denatured alcohol in with a paintbrush without getting it leaking out in the front and that panel will literally just pop right out. So that's why I like hot glue. Uh, also in the field, if you do have a panel pop off, you can repair it again with a, I've got a battery operated hot glue gun. So if you're driving around at a con or something and it does pop off, you can fire up your hot glue gun, stick it back on and deal with it in a better situation when you get back to your shop. But anyway, we've got her, uh, we've got her done and it looks good. I mean, all the panels are lining up pretty well. Um, I am very happy with it. I do still have to drop a ring in here in the radar eye. Uh, I do like to paint a silver ring and drop it in there and friction fit it in there so that that piece of plastic can never pop out. It's not going to anyway because I pretty much have it flush on the uh, inside there. It works great, but uh, that's where we are. So this is pretty quick. Uh, dome attachment parts today. In the next video, I do plan on doing the electronics. We'll focus on the hollow projectors and how those mount in as well. But most of this is pretty self-explanatory and uh, that's it. It's that simple. So thanks for joining us today. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and I'll keep pumping out these videos as long as I got people watching them. We'll see you in the next video.